Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to use rest milling option in NX cam. Here we have a model. That's minimum corner radius is R5. We have it in this model. First we need to prepare a cavity roughing process. Right click on operation. Go to insert and generate the operations by on cavity mill operation we should be select the part and blank geometry also If we had the blank geometry or separate model, we can select it on blank geometry and make it at blank. Otherwise, we have uh, some uh, extra additional options on the workpiece concept. We can able to create offset from offset from part and uh, boundary of uh, part and outline of part part outline or something. We, we can able to create a uh, workpiece blank. In basic setup, we can create a workpiece and blank geometries. The next we plan to create a tools on a uh, cavity mill operation. Select the tool tab. Here now we plan to using uh, dia 16 mil for roughing process on this profile. Take a name on it. And need to specify the dimension of actual tool or be what we planned. We had a packet number and uh, tool changes setups. So we can set it on here. Tool number, adjust number, and custom registration number. If we could, we can create it. We can able to create the whole dimensions as well as you know a standard format in uh, NX cam. Here now we plan to create a depth packet of three mm. And generate the tool path. Here we get the cavity mill roughing process on this particular profile part. Here we are using the 16 in 16 mil for roughing process. Here now we plan to verify the tool path in 3D dynamic visualization. Actually, our uh, corner of children part corner roughing is in R5 corner radius, but we are using the R8 tool. So, here we, we get the material stock availability on this every corner. In actual part to have a R5 corner radius, we don't no need to directly using for the uh, dia 10 uh, tool for a direct corner removing concept. We are maximum possible to remove the material by using um, maximum diameter of tool as per our profile concept. Then we finally we plan to create a rest milling operation. We can reduce the corner uh, stock availabilities. That rest milling process is a uh, basic concept is the removing the left materials on the cavity mill process. That is the uh, 
basic concept of the rest milling process. Here now we plan to create a rest milling operations. Need to create a tool for the rest milling operations. Here we plan to create a dia 8 mil for the rest milling uh, operations. Actually, we have a corner ADC survey, so we are planning to uh, make it at a R4 tool that is dia 8 mm uh, mil for the rest milling operation. After that uh, parameter change on the tools, we plan to generate the tool path. Here we can see that the overall material will be removed on the air concept. Actually, we plan is only removing the, the corners. Actually, that previous tool of stair 16 is removed the most of the material except the corner. So we plan to create the rest milling. But here is fully again that material removed as a full process. So we not record like this tool pass. The process of rest milling is worked in in process workpiece concept that is IBW work concept. Here we are not uh, created in IBW concept. So now we plan to change that uh, both process of cavity and rest milling in IBW process that will be make us the our expected tool path it will be arrived on that way. So we have changed that cavity mill first we plan to change that cavity mill operation in cutting parameters we have an containment step we selected containment there is have a uh, blank and in process work piece that concept. So we change it at the none to use 3D so as per uh, 3D raw material and uh, part geometries is based on that work piece uh, process will be created the tool path. So we have prepared the uh, IBW concept of cavity mill will be completed. So we again we ch and then next we plan to create change that rest milling operation as per our plan of in process workpiece method. Go to the uh, cutting parameters into that containment tab. We have it that uh, blank and there is we plan to use change that use 3D. Now we plan to generate the tool path again. Here we got the expected tool path of rest milling process. Now we plan to verify the tool path. First the tool of cavity mill operation is the dia 16 mil will remove the maximum of material except the corner. The corner of profile is have it R5. First tool of dia 16 is make it at R8. So that next operation we that plan for the rest milling operations that will be removed that uh, balancing material of R8 corner to make it at R5 as per the model dimensions.
in the rest milling process we got uh, lot of non cutting air movements that will be make it the more time on our machines so we can able to optimize that non cutting moves on that for few concepts methods that will be we plan to see on next Here we can see that each and every tool for material material removal is in level based its mode. So number of non cutting air movements are is a, a maximum optimized that time. So we can able to change that customize that uh, tool non cutting air movements. Now we plan to edit on level cutting order level push cutting order to depth push cutting order. It's one of the uh, basic concept for reducing that non-cutting air movements. Here now we got the tool for this. Each and every corner, uh, first corner will be completed, then only tool will move to the next corner. But here also we have the lot of uh, non cutting air movements because of that. Each and every tool passes, the tool is moved into the uh, basic standard automatic safe clearance distance that what we set in MCS so that uh, each and every dimension are not required to move on the uh, about top face of the part we change it on uh, non-cutting movements and there we have the within region that we are changing the clearance tool axis to uh, like example of previous plane as per what we need we can be able to change it customized on these options now we generate the tool path here we got the tool path is uh, each and every depth of cut will be changed the non-cutting air travels also. Now we plan to verify the tool path. Here now set a tool for this that each and every tool for the heavy and non cutting movement sets so the previous uh, depth of cut to 3 mm only extend the tool paths not from the uh, safe clearance distance of part of the planes. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting us. Keep learning with us.